<laughs> this is a bolt carrier group from my Wilson Combat 6.5 Creedmoor Super Sniper. After running maybe 800 rounds suppressed, I didn't keep count without cleaning it. I did start with a generous amount of RAND CLP and it's actually still working and also the NP3 coating on the bolt carrier group is doing its job as well. What I wanted to show you is how RAND CLP will actually work with the NP3 coating to get this clean really fast as well because a lot of people think I'm going to have to soak this and everything and though I will have to do some scraping of the bolt tail, this is going to mostly wipe right off. Wait till you see. I break out my little pocket toolkit here. has everything I need for the next stuff. There's the bolt. There's the bolt carrier. gonna coat this with the RAND CLP. Once you get it on your gloves, you can just use that to distribute. I didn't really let it soak for any amount of time. Look at that. Coming right off. I'm gonna have to hit a few of these grooves a a with a little bit more to get them fully clean, but man. <laughs> Look at that already, just from a simple wipe down. That was crazy easy. I really should get a toothbrush for some of this but I'm gonna do it the hard and stupid way and just use a paper towel the hardest part of this is doing this trying to stay out of the way of a camera and it's big tripod legs but look look at the towel I'm gonna get a new one All right, now for the bolt. <laughs> Coming right off. Now the bolt tail. I don't think I'm gonna have to scrape this. Look at that. It's a little Burnished, maybe, but there's no chunky crud. None. <laughs> there you go. Look how clean that is. Nothing but ran CLP and paper towels. And it's about like that, even when I'm cleaning off phosphate though I hardly have any bolt carriers that are phosphate anymore there's always some space agey coating on it with some built-in lubricity but mp3 is super nice <laughs> ran clp is super nice it's a great combination I'm gonna get this all 
lubed up. Put it back together again. Again, once you get it on your gloves, you can use your gloves as an applicator. And there you go. 13 minutes and 44 seconds of runtime since I hit record. And that's including me moving around the camera a bit to try to get better positions and stretch my back because I'm leaning over very uncomfortably. I'm gonna get this all wet before I stick it back in the rifle. I'm not trying to say that RAND CLP is the only product that'll give you these kind of results, but I am saying it is a product <laughs> that will get you these kind of results. I'm big enough that I get free CLP from every manufacturer out there. Seriously, like you name a company that makes CLP and I either have it because they already sent it to me or I've got emails from them asking me to use their products. But I keep coming back to RAND CLP because I haven't had any reason to switch. It runs really nicely in my guns. I've never had it gum up and create reliability problems in any of my guns like I've had with another very well-known product that totally bricked my 590A1 and I had to super clean it to get all of that stuff out of it. And then I went to RAND CLP for it. And I'm always happy when I'm shooting suppressed. My guns keep running when you would think they wouldn't. And when I'm done running them, cleanup is always as easy as you see, even when I'm using a uh, phosphate coated bolt carrier group. If you want to see where you can get some RAND CLP or even this neat little pocket tool that I got from a media kit at some point, be sure to click the links in the video description below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and little things like RAND CLP. Really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.